and welcome to The Dough Show for Monday, May 28th, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Bambi Dextrous. And we have another really full show for you today, so let's dive right in. We were out all weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, filming some drag for you, so all those videos are up. Um, starting on Friday, uh, I was at the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose. Their roast of Jean Benet Ramsey at Evolution Wonderland. And I was not there, but I got to see the videos on Dragging Our Heels, so. Uh, you got to see all the videos. Um, yeah, it was a really good time. Um, yeah, uh, it was Who eight, is eight roasters in total. Um, uh, Vanity, Twiggy, Lourdes, Andra, um, as well as Chelsea, Davina, Indigo, Mr. Silver, our person that actually put on the event. I was going to say our host, but that's not true because our hostess with the mostesses, Lilla Fair, was also the, the Lil gatekeeper, Lil the, the head, the roast master. Um, did a fine job of keeping the night moving. Uh, she definitely kept the flow going of the show, kept it very... She did. Um, well, and, and I can even tell you a personal note for some of it. She was even sitting right in front of me and she was asking me how long people were going as to whether she should be interrupting so that she could try to keep it going. Because I, on the screen, have literally, a, a tells me how long every number is. Literally, so. you can see it there. So that is a good point. You could actually see how long people were roasting mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, but yes, it was a, it was a really good time. Um, most of the videos are up on Dragging Our Heels. We put it into the two sets that were up there. Uh, but let's just say that it's one of the examples of why you need to go to see things live if you want to see the entire story. Yes. Um, and I'll leave it at that. But, uh, but yeah, it was, a, it was a really good time. Um, all in all, <laughs> it was a really good time. There were some rough spots. I'm not going to, yeah, you know. Yeah, let's not sugarcoat it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. There were some rough spots. Um, but uh, there was also some really funny spots. Um, yes. Oh, Indigo. Indigo, you were so funny and natural on that da dais. You, was, Sean. Yeah, 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 you did. You really did. Um, and maybe it was partly because I didn't know what to expect from you. True. Uh, but yeah, you, you actually really blew me away. Yeah. Uh, I also thought Davina was really quite funny. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Mr. Silver. Uh, really, again, I thought was, was, was quite, quite funny, had some really good zings, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, and then, you know, Chelsea had some fantastic, fantastic <laughs> things <laughs> that I, I'm not even going to bring up, because, no, she's, yeah, yeah. risque, I me, think, for television, <laughs> yeah, me, me too pale face for that, uh, okay, but yeah, it was crazy, it was so good, we had such a good time, so anyway, check those videos out, um, on Saturday, we were at a new venue for oh. us, anyway. Um, we went to Fargo's Capilano Saturday. for the um, Leather and Lace fundraiser for Aspec, which, if you don't know, is the Alberta Sex Positive Education and Community Center. Um, anyway, so they were putting on a fundraiser um, uh, put and together by Sassy Psych Ward, yeah. um, in part with Bubbles LaRue, I think, and a few others. Um, it was a good time. We had fun. Yeah. So thank you, Sassy and Bubbles, for inviting mm. us to come to that. We felt very welcome, didn't we, Ferris? Like, we really did. We really felt welcome in the venue. Um, they, they were just, it was a cool vibe, a cool energy in the mm -hmm. room. So Good we food. We enjoyed the nachos. <laughs> yeah, the food was great. And that's not even getting into the numbers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everything was great on top of that. But uh, the numbers, we had... Um, Bubbles, Sassy yeah. performed, obviously. Um, Harry Schnitzel performed. Uh, Shella's on, and Gigi mm -hmm. and Neva Be There also performed. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh and, and a debut king. Debut! Oh, we had a debut king. It was uh, Terry Fide. Yes. Great name, by the way. Right. I love the name Terry. And I believe that was actually the organizer of, or the, the, the president of Aspect that was doing that number for the very first time. So yes. that was why they were doing their debut. So that and was very also, cool. Well. last but not least, uh, Miss D. Marks was there for yeah. the performing. So Which wonderful. I'm not sure whether we have her on the channel, but Minnie De Bomb is another name for that performer. And I'm pretty sure I've at least seen them perform before. Perhaps even burlesque or something. She I'm is. not burlesque, I believe. I'm so, not sure if uh, Minnie is on our channel as Minnie, but we do have uh, Miss, Miss D as uh, yes. a couple of on a couple of videos, so you can look forward to that. Um, absolutely wonderful show. Mm -hmm. What stood out for me was 
Miss Gigi Gaynor. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, her outfits were fabulous. In fact, there was a couple of ladies sitting <laughs> right behind us, and the ladies behind us really enjoyed the outfits. So Ru we, Ruby, you may be hearing from her, girl. Anyway, we passed along, <laughs> <laughs> we uh, pass along at Ruby's information so that you know all credit due where credit is due, right? But yeah, Gigi looked fabulous. Her numbers were great. Um, I, I, uh, we were saying even that night, like she was the perfect queen for that room, like. Um, yeah. You know, like, uh, she just represented just such style and grace and fun and, yeah, uh, fantastic job, Gigi and all the rest of the performers. It was a really good show. Yes. We had a great time. <laughs> As I say, they've had fundraisers there before and I assume they probably will be again, so we hope to be back for Absolutely. those kinds of things in the future. Yes. So, uh, yeah, oh. look forward for those hopefully at some point down the road. Absolutely. If they have another venue, yeah, I mean another show at the venue, we will definitely be back there as Drag Yarn Heels. And note for anybody out there that's looking for a new place to put on a show, uh, Fargo's was fantastic and they had a huge sign out on the road saying that they were putting mm -hmm. on the drag show. They had posters drag. all over their, their place on their website it was the main picture on their thing like they promoted the hell out of that show and yeah. <laughs> Dean Monroe when she uh, was doing the the hosting was going around and talking to people and there was quite a few people that were just there because of things like that sign out there so mm -hmm. these weren't people that were there for the organization these weren't people that were there because they were friends with the, the performers. performers these people were just there because they were in the Capilano area and yeah. saw drag show and came so that's the kind of thing that I, I'm saying, I think a lot of times we rely on certain ways to get a hold of people. Mm -hmm. To me, it was a perfect example. The place was packed. Yeah. And, they, and everybody had a good time. And it was a, their first drag show for a lot of them. So, that's amazing. Anyway, Fargo's, Capilano, <laughs> that's my point. <laughs> also Moving performing on. that night. <laughs> um, also performing that night, I forgot to mention, was Jojo Crystal. Oh, yeah. And um, her video was originally blocked, but. I muted some of the audio so it could be at least played and you can mm -hmm. check out vi uh, JoJo's video, Booty, and see that on the Dragon Heels channel as well. Yeah, and Bubbles LaRue, same thing kind of happened. Um, the uh, Seven Wonders was, was uh, a problem, so part of that was cut and so his performance of Seven is, is now available on the YouTube as well. Yeah, and on Sunday we were back at Evolution Wonder Lounge to view Minority Report, the Sunday Review, hosted by Secretia Minora. Yay! It was good to see Secretia back. Um, I actually wasn't at the show, I just checked out the videos online, but uh, I was very happy to see that uh, Secretia was back on stage performing, because it's been a hot minute. Yeah, it has. Also, uh, well, who came back for this show was Goblin Dix. Yay! And Goblin had been away for so long that I had to like research Research again for your playlist. Oh, his playlist? Oh, wow. Because it had been a while that your playlist got buried, so I had to refine that. Yeah, for people that don't know, that's honestly a way for us. Like, uh, I'd say every now and then on YouTube, the playlists reset. And so if you haven't performed in six months or three, I don't, yeah. we don't know how long it is. If we, enough people have performed before you, your playlist gets buried and we have to find it again. So that's a little drink your heels a yeah. bit. <laughs> so it's always kind of like, wow, it has been a while since we've seen yeah. it. So that's, yeah, okay, honestly, I didn't think it had been that long. Honestly, that's a way we gauge how long it's been Funny. between performances. Uh, I, I love it when <laughs> Goblin and Secretia perform together and their number was high camp. It was wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, was it was Pussy Riot. Pussy Riot Riot's. is what I suggested to uh, to do it. I was just like, that's just so punk. And I was just like, and it's Russian. And, it's, and I was just kind of like, it's Pussy Riot. And so anyway. There's no pussy ride in it, I don't think, but yeah. uh, it was it was highly enjoyable. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. So, uh, yeah, fantastic job, guys. Yes. And in that show was Secretia Minora, mm -hmm. Goblin Dix, JBR, Chelsea Horrendous, Cat Marlowe Minora, Lona Lalo, and Tickle Minora, who were the two debuts, I believe, mm -hmm. that night. Um, talk about Tickle and Lona. Um, Lona was a lot of fun. Um, Lona was the dancer, yes? Yes. Um, popping, locking, all kinds of, of, of really great moves. Um, part of me was thought the cape was everything. Part of me was frustrated with the cape because it was like it was in front of the performance part of the time. But I think that was also just a part of the whole thing. So anyway, I, anyway, it was it was cool. Um, not to put a standardized on anything, but um, I'm curious about Lona as to whether we will get something 
different in the future from Lona, whether we will get more dance, whether we will see yeah. some kind of a lip sync, whether we will see um, more traditional style drag from... Anyway, interesting. Definitely a great debut. Yes. Um, and, and Tickle looked great. It was... It, uh, yeah. Um, looked like a menorah. <laughs> uh, believably could have been squeezed out of secretia. That's all I'm saying. Um, but yeah, it was, it, was, it was a fun number. Um, again, look forward to, to what... They might tickle um, with us in the future. Uh, to, to put a drag in our heels input in this show, um, I don't know if you know this, but Kat did a repeat number from her very, mm. very first time on stage at another Secretia show. Kat did her first number that she did, and it's not on Drake in Our Heels because we didn't make it to that one. Okay. So we managed to get video of Yay. it this time. It's called Girl Crush. Kat Marlowe did a repeat, and it's just wonderful to have that content on the channel. Yeah, technically two new numbers on Dragging Our Heels from Kat, so <laughs> that's great. We do love new numbers. Um, the other one new number that I need to, to mention was Secretia did a, a, she did a mix, and the first part was Spinal Tap, Fat, <laughs> Big, Big Bottom, bottom. which Big was, bottom. Just, was just amazing. That just blew my mind. And then when that transitioned into, into Queen, Fat Bottom Girls, that was, that was wonderful. Yes. So, so wonderful. Uh, yeah, such a good, good mix. But yes, yeah. I, I always mark out when something like Spinal Tap shows up on, mm -hmm. yeah, anyway. <laughs> Chelsea Horrendous was also really oh, good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And who knew that there's another Tiger Lily song that she hadn't performed yet? <laughs> right? Right? Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, and yeah, that was a lot of fun. Family in My Mouth was great. And the other one, again, I love it when Chelsea goes political. So, um, yes, Wake Up America. That the Wake Up America number was, was a lot of fun. Gambino. Yeah, yeah, that kind of idea of, you know, idea. like the music and the. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was a lot. I yeah, it. yeah, I really enjoyed that. So, so uh, again, great to see Chelsea back in 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 fine form. Absolutely. Oh, JBR. Oh, oh, oh JBR came back with a couple of repeats. Mm -hmm. um, one was the uh, "Just Doesn't Feel Right" number, and the second one was the um, "How to Save How a Life." How to save a life. Yes, and I'm Featuring. torn about about the fact that you saved Lil's life. <laughs> Although I was oh, no. living for how red Lil's face was going when you were when you were giving him mouth uh, to mouth, uh, but yeah. Anyway, oh, yeah. that was that was so fun. And a yeah. quick comment on JBR. Um, yesterday we were talking with JBR a little bit about um, the comments on YouTube because mm. again, bringing it back to mm -hmm. the dragging our heels side of things. No other performer in the city gets the same kind of comments on their videos like JBR does. Um, so I've compiled a list of some of the typical, I guess, okay. comments that you can find. Maybe we should do Drag Queen's Read Me and Comments episode. Oh, god. <laughs> anyway. oh my god, what is this? Oh my god, she's sexy, I love her. Well, that's enough internet for today. The <laughs> uh, fuck is this? Uh, oh, she's fake, not a real woman, look at her body. And oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> yeah, I love it when it's something along the lines of I've stumbled into that weird side of the web again. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like, well, that's enough internet yeah. for today. Right? <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. But yeah, maybe we should do a Drag Queen's Read Mean Comments. Oh, oh. Should. oh. oh. okay. We'll, next we'll find a brick so. wall. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> anyway, those are all the videos that are up on the web from last week. Next weekend, we are going to be in Hay River. Um, we are doing the Hay River Pride Festival, and we are super excited. Yeah, we um, are. It is our very first kind of adventure like this to put on a show outside of town. And uh, yeah, um, we're nervous, but we're also very excited. Um, we have Lilith Fair. We have Sister Mary Clarence. We have Duke motherfucking Carson. And we have Bambi Dextrous. It's going to be a fantastic time. We're doing uh, a makeup tutorial. We're doing story time with yeah. kids at the library, putting on a show. It's going to be so much fun. We well, have been looking forward to this for so long. We have. But it means that we'll be out of the city for the weekend. We will. So we'll need somebody to cover up the, the other events. <laughs> Luckily, we have our boy Braden lined up, so he's going to be in town and he's going to be filming everything for us here in town. But 
because we're pulling double duty, there's going to be all kinds of videos coming next week from this weekend. But um, you may have to wait a little bit longer than normal to get them because we're going to be driving all day Sunday and Monday's going to be long and stuff. But we promise it will come. All right. Um, but yes, Hay River is going to be super exciting. But here in town, Braden is going to be filming a few things. Um, on Thursday night, we're not 100% sure yet, but uh, we may not be able to make it. But uh, Sister Mary Clarence at 9910 is putting on the TD Pride kickoff. Mm -hmm. um, can you do it? Morgan Fair, Ruby Hyman, and Pheromone Kills are in that one. It's going to be a good time. We're actually hoping to go with the organizer from Pride River, or Hay River Pride, uh, to that event on Thursday night, but we're not 100% sure whether that's all going to line up. So there may not be any video coming, so you should definitely go yes, to that event. Yes, because we don't live. cover that. You may as well go to that one in person. Exactly. And check out the well, yeah, it's always good to see it live. So anyway, uh, that's Thursday night. Um, on Friday, there is no events that we are aware of. That may change. If so, contact Braden. Um, on Saturday, um, the Dragging Youth Series has their last regular event of the year. They still have the, uh, the uh, Pets one coming up in July, but this is the last one for their usual year for the youth initiatives. Um, anyway, it's Dragging Summer. Pride is in the air. Um, I'm not 100% sure of the hosts, and but it's going to be your regular cast of misfits, I'm sure, for and the performers. And that will be at 6 o'clock at the Unitarian Church. Absolutely. Door at 5, show at 6, $5 yeah. cover. There's mm -hmm. always food, drinks, all that kind of stuff. It'll be a good time. So Yes, buy um, lots of drinks and snacks to support the event because yeah. all those snack sales go to the charities exactly. of the Dragging Youth. So we believe Braden will be there for that event. Yes. I also know Braden should be heading to Evolution Wonder Lounge that evening because I have asked for him for as much footage of Sean Ford in and out of his underwear at the underwear party as possible. Yeah, that footage may not make it on Drag Air Heels. No, <laughs> but I'm really excited that Sean Ford is coming and I am absolutely crushed that I'm not going to be there. But that's okay. I love my husband. <laughs> and that's all I need in life. No, anyway. Sean, no. Anyway, <laughs> Sean. <laughs> What's fair is fair. Um, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Um, it's a spice world. It yes, is a spice right world. Right there. Thank you very much. I need somebody with the human touch. Um, so this Why did the tabby just flash in my mind there? Anyway, spice is going on. Yes, it's going to be fantastic. Um, Who's in the spice event? Well, it is My Remains. Carried Away, Tequila Mockingbird, Can You Do It, and Hellacious Acres. Very cool. Um, and my information, if correct, I believe it's less of a typical Sunday review show and more of a uh -huh. uh, concert, more of a, um, like less hosting, more just performance. Mm -hmm. So Like a uh, concert experience. Yeah. So uh, we're kind of sad we're not going to be there for it. So we are at least happy that we have Brayden yes. lined up to film that. So Brayden, you better be there mm -hmm. because we really want to see that. Oh, now it's on video. You have to make it there. Like, Well, exactly. You're <laughs> committed now. We said it online. Right? <laughs> so yes, you definitely should be at Evolution on, on Sunday and check out that show because it's going to be fantastic. Absolutely. Yay. Um, and I think that's all for events. So let's go. That is all for the events that we have. I'm going to start off this and say my pick of the week was from the Leather and Lace fundraiser mm. show. And I'm picking Gigi mm. for her performance of Dancing on My Own. Mm. I love the outfit. I love the movements. And I really have a connection to the song. So Gigi, you're my pick of the week. Nice. Yeah. No, that was really good. Um... There is a few. And I feel like I'm kind of being a cop-out, but I'm just going to go with set one from the roast of JBR. Uh -huh. um, there was so many... <laughs> there was some good singers There were some one. really good singers in there. So yeah, I definitely think you should check that out. Uh, and yeah, I... And that covers like five performers in right, one video. <laughs> right? It's <laughs> 45 minutes of joy. So yeah, uh, definitely check out the roast if you haven't yet. Although okay. from what I've been seeing, it looks it like has, most of you have been. It's when been I last good. looked, it had like 119 
uh, views, but that might have gone up. Again, not to sound like a beggar, but like, share, subscribe if you yeah. like those things. Like, it really does help us out. 119 turn... views is fantastic, but if we had like a few likes, like that, yeah. that could help all of those performers in the future. Exactly, and you're not just helping out us, it also helps out the locals, it helps out the queens, it helps out the community. So exactly. it's not just us begging for likes, as it seems like it has been lately, it's not just us. It does benefit the performers by getting their names out there. It's our channel. <laughs> Everybody. Um, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Thank Life you. free, Bambi. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.